we're here. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're out here on, I guess you can call it late ice. I don't really know. There's no snow out here, as you guys saw. It's glare ice, the whole lake. What I'm kind of doing today is um, a little bit of a scouting mission. I'm gonna try to do an overnight out here, and I wanna just kind of get a feel of some of these areas where I wanna set up my base camp. So that's what we're kind of doing today. It's super nice out today. It's gonna be like 50 something, and the sun's out, as you can see. The sun is blazing. I'm in just a sweatshirt and I'm sweating. So um, the ride out here was pretty sweet. I brought my fat bike out. If you guys haven't seen this fat bike yet, I have a video on it when I first got it last year. And I, I got it for fishing. Not necessarily ice fishing, but just for mostly like spring, summer fishing, getting in on dirt roads, using it like a shuttle vehicle. But I also wanted it for this right here, early and late ice conditions when there's no snow on the ice. I've got studded tires on this thing and I had zero traction issues on the way out. That sled was completely freighted full of stuff. I welded up the little trailer hitch the other day, flawless. I didn't even try it at home, I probably should have, but I just attached it on over here at the parking lot brought it right out no problem but we're in a little cove here I want to kind of fish it a little bit I fished it only one time before I didn't have a lot of luck but it's close to deep water there's some shallow water I've caught trout over in here before but this body of water that we're on has pretty much everything in it uh, we might get trout we could get salmon uh, definitely bass pickerel and crappy white perch yellow perch all kinds of stuff so pretty much everything in here but I'm gonna kind of cover this cove with some traps and then we're gonna do some jigging um, as well see if we can pull up some fish so micro perch it's a little bigger it's a little bigger i'm basically just killing time out here guys i kind of want to see if the traps are going to go off at all because um i'm really thinking more and more i fish so much down in this uh bigger bay down here that's deeper um and i just know it's it's decent fishing or can be so and there's some there's some structure down there i'm just kind of hoping this cove i've caught a couple of trout in here before but we're late in the season now and it's a bright bluebird sky, warm. I don't, can't imagine those traps are really gonna do much right now, but kind of just killing time because I'm gonna, later in the evening, we're gonna go down here and do some jigging, maybe get some uh, night bite perch going on. We'll see, I don't know. Man, I'll tell you guys, my last couple of fishing trips have been pretty rough. Um, I actually went out with another YouTuber, Josh from Precision Angling. We met up and tried to do some lake trout jigging. There was plenty of fish around that seemed interested. We had, if we would have caught even half the amount of fish that chased us on the flasher, we would have had a pretty good day, but. Mark following some wire. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. That's what we want to get. He was getting close, so he didn't like the hole when he got close there. We're in 180 feet of water, and uh, we have some alewives around 100. Sick. We only managed to land one. Um, I, I caught it on a jig rod and he had one on for a couple seconds and lost it but we it was a grind we were out there most of the day we got there when it was dark and fished until probably two o'clock and with one fish to show so it was pretty rough and then I went out with Josh who you see on this channel we tried to go down to catch some perch on a pond that has some really good sized perch in it that I've caught some decent ones in over the years we had a ton of snow up here and then we had a massive rain event warm weather and it killed everything and we were a little bit surprised at exactly how much snow we'd lost so we were banging down through the woods on the snowmobiles and we did get down to the pond and we fished we caught a ton of small bass but no perch at all so that was kind of disappointing we put in a lot of effort for that and it just didn't pan out so 
even though I just spent all the time to set up those couple traps I'm pretty tempted to move right now I think this is kind of like a little dead zone here um, I might pick them up go on the back side of this island there's a deeper hole over there jig that for a minute and then go out to where I think the fishing might actually be a little better so we'll try that the move the switch is on today is just about doing a little recon mission anyways all right everything's picked up I'm using my fish brain app here that has full Navionics lake maps if you guys want to get the fish brain app and get the pro version I'll leave a link down in the description below and with with the pro version you get full Navionics lake maps which is awesome it's what I'm using right now to find this spot and I've been using it all winter for ice fishing it's pretty sweet all right so the Navionics app told me I was in about 18 feet of water here we are 18 feet of water. <laughs> Jesus. He's wagging his tail. He's just, a, he's just a, a skittish. All right, nothing there. I'm gonna zip down to the other spot. Hopefully, kind of set up there for the rest of the evening. Get some fish. Well, these fish are not mine, but huh, pretty good sign that there's fish around. So those guys left them on the ice, it's kind of too bad, but setting right up on a ridge here. I'm using relatively big baits on these because I don't want to be catching perch. Hopefully that's going to deter them from setting my flags off. I get bigger bigger bait on there and we can maybe get like a nice sized bass or something on here. Okay. Oh, I got it. Feels pickerelish. Yep, it's a pickerel. Cool. Love it. I love it. No shortage of these guys, that's for sure. Jeez. I'm... I just went for a little bike ride here around my traps and found this. So, somebody's been cleaning up. Holy smokes. I'm not sure what we got going on here. I think there's something on there. Yeah. Stick roll. It's a stick roll. Yeah, baby. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oh, a little sunfish. Oh my god. Look at that, a little, a little sunny. That's pretty sweet. Another sunfish. That, that's what's down there, that little school, little sunfish school. Just like that, little sunnies. <laughs> Let's go see if we get over here. Oh yeah, dude. Pretty sure this one had a decent sized bait on it too. Got him. Oh, that's got some weight. That has weight. Yep. Yep. That has weight. I gotta go easy, but I got. Oh, he wants to take some line. Take a line. Oh, 
<laughs> I got a little like I got like trout hooks on here. <clears throat> this might be a while. Jeez, he might have. Oh no, he might have wrapped me in something. Shoot. Oh no, I can feel he's rubbing me on something down there. Oh, I might have got him. I think I got him. Yeah. Took a bunch of line. No, it's it's something decent. Oh, it's a big largey. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. There we go. That's what I was after, right there. Yes. Nice. Check that fish out, guys. Nice large mouth. You're not huge, but that's a pretty good fight on a on tr a trout set up there. <laughs> to get him back in the water. You guys, another look at him here. In the sun. Nice fish. I know some of you guys are gonna ask, so I'm gonna let you guys know right here. This is my uh, 24 inch JT Panhandler rod, and that's pretty much all I use for perch, crappie, um, white perch, yellow perch, and even even some trout, some small brook trout fishing. It's the best panfish rod on the market. It's so sensitive. It's got the spring bobber on there, so you can detect those super sensitive bites and uh, the up bites of crappie a lot of times. That's what will happen there. And if you guys are interested in this rod, I'll leave it linked down in the description below with a promo code so you guys can buy one of these. It'll give you a few bucks off and uh, definitely recommend this rod for panfish. I've been using this thing, you, as you can tell, it's pretty kind of beat up a little bit, but I've used it for probably five years, four or five years. And uh, I don't see a reason to get anything else. This thing is unbelievable. Super light, super sensitive. And I got it paired with a clam spooler elite series it's basically kind of like a fly rod so when the fish takes drag uh, the handle goes but it is a multiplier reel so you get a little bit more line pickup um, I know we didn't I know we didn't hammer any really big fish with this tonight but I have in the past and let me tell you it can handle it and when you get a nice fish on that's pulling drag it's a ton of fun all right so I moved out deeper marking some fish on bottom here they're looking pretty active He did. Oh, that's a decent fish. I mean, it's not big, but decent for a little pan fish, I think. It's a crappie. Yeah, baby. You got a crappie. All right. I told you guys, this lake has pretty much everything in it. Look at that. Little crappie. Get back down there and see if maybe there's a couple more. Oh, oh no, guys. This is not ideal. I just went to switch my jig and realized I don't have any of my jigs in my flasher box. And I think it's because my flasher fell off my jet sled over here earlier this today. So I'm thinking it's probably laying on the ground, so we're going to try to go get it. Hopefully no one picked it up yet. Of course. This is the time of night where I really want to be fishing. Is this it? Oh, that might be it. Oh my god, dude. It's right there. <laughs> wow. Look at that. There it is. I would have stuck to restock all those. Okay. That's a good mark. Oh yeah, dude, that was way better. Oh, oh, 
Oh, okay. You're actually taking some line. Oh! What do we got? Get this out of here. That freaking little sunfish didn't want to go down. Could be a good crappie or a white perch. Oh, white perch. That's a nice one. Sick. Sick. That's not bad. Not a bad white white perch. Yeah, I'll let him go. Okay, the whiteies have arrived. There's so many down there right now. There's so many fish down there, dude. This guy's coming so high up for it, too. That one's not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. I don't think it's all that big, but... I could be wrong. Don't come off. Oh yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> That'll do. That's a nice white perch right there. A really nice one. My screen just lit up. So there's my jig about to get hit. And I'm on. I'm on. I gotta get past all these little ones. You see if I can get down deeper into the pile there. They just, as soon as it goes down anywhere close to the mass of where all these fish are, they just shoot right up and just smoke it. So, see if I can get it down in the pile more. Oh, that's a decent one. Didn't realize. Oh. Pretty decent white perch. Oh, that one bent it. <laughs> oh, that's a crappie. That's the biggest crappie of the day right there. They get way bigger in here though. Crappy? Nope. White perch. Alright. We're all hooked up. Let's roll, baby. Alright guys, I'm doing the outro here in the dark. We're still on the lake. I got a little bit of a bike ride left to the back to the truck, but I'm glad that turned around. We got some fish and I think if I could spend, you know, a night out here, a couple days fishing, we could probably have some pretty decent fish on the board and have a good time. So plenty of action once that sun went down and it's about what I expected. I was hoping for anyway. So 
So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.